set this world. We'll see. The last time I tried this, it didn't really work. Here it is. I don't know how long it's been since I've seen another human being down in here in my dungeon. Since the plague hit and the zombies started popping out of the earth, it's been about all I could do to sit here and make fuzz. I mean, you gotta fight them things off, you know. Gotta get them in the head, it's the only way to stop them. Bleach them, Lysol just won't do the trick. But anyways, I'm your host, Penny Jimmy. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? And this is, after all this time, yet another episode of Stupid Pedal Tricks. Today's attractive little device is at the moment living on my breadboard. Um, I was, uh, me and a friend were talking about fuzzes, as we often do, because that's what we do. We live for fuzz. Fuzzy goodness. It's the only way to live. You gotta have fuzz. If you ain't got fuzz, what do you got? You got overdrive. You got distortion. You got the only mills of audio. You need fuzz sometimes, you know. So anyways, we were talking about, hmm, tube fuzz face. So I did a little research, looked around on the internet, on Google, found a fucking couple threads that were very interesting and very informative. A few rabbit holes that led me to some other ideas that I dare not talk about at this point in time. But I was looking at it and I was thinking, you know, a triode, you got two triodes in a 12 x 7. All you got to do is figure out a way to go and get the heat to it. And you should be able to replace the uh, transistors in a flash space with it, right? Yeah, it should be easy, right? Yeah, yeah. Here I am like a week into it. I've had nothing else to do because it's just Groundhog Day out there. You know what I mean? And uh, not quite a week. I'm exaggerating. As I often do, if you haven't watched these before, you know, I mean, I, I'm using you for comedy right now, and you probably don't even realize it. But anyways, I'm babbling and babbling and babbling. With a triode, you have three connections, basically, other than the heater. You got the cathode, you got the grid, and you got the plate. This is an oversimplification, I'm sure, because I'm, I'm an ape. I'm a monkey with opposable thumbs. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I don't know nothing about no electronicing. I'm just a freaky old hippie hanging out in my dungeon waiting for the, uh, the fallout to pass. And uh, so anyways, your average transistor also has three connections. You got your base. Oh, well, excuse me. You got your emitter, your base, your collector. Your emitter usually goes toward ground. Your base is where the noise goes in. And your collector is where the noise comes out amplified. It's also where the electricity goes in. Well, with a triode, you got your emitter, which is usually going toward the ground side of the circuit. And you got your grid, which is where the noise goes in. And you've got your plate, which is where the noise comes out amplified. And it's also where the electricity goes in. So what's the difference, you ask? Beats me. I'm no electronic engineer. From what I understand, they were completely opposite. And after messing with this freaking thing for a couple of days, I can completely agree with it. That it doesn't make any sense. I'm not telling you what the values are of the parts. Get yourself a breadboard. You can do this yourself if you really want to. I'll show you what the thing looks like. It's on there right now. You can use fixed resistors for the, uh, well, before I get to that part. Basically, what I did was I figured, okay, collector equals plate, base equals grid, and emitter equals cathode. I mean, transistors were there to replace tubes. There's a reason why there's those three connections, I'm figuring, you know, from way back when, when they started trying to use transistors instead of tubes. So anyways, one thing led to another, and uh, so I wired this thing up, and I had to really wickedly play with values, which I just touched on a second ago. Um, with the capacitors, you got to think huge because you got to get as much signal into this piece of crap as you possibly can. Because when you're running a uh, 12 AX7 
that really wants to see about 300 volts on the plate at 9 volts. And you're running the heaters that really want to see about 12.6 volts DC uh, at 9 volts. You have to make some compromises. By the time you actually get the tube stage to fuzz, it's so freaking brittle and crappy sounding, you'd think it was like a this bone stock 80s JCM 850 watt head. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, kind of glassy and just, you know, a little annoying. Like, the fuzz box equivalent almost to like a K fuzz tone. Similar, but a little, a little bit better. It sounds, for all intents and purposes, like a fuzz tone. It sounds like a freaking fuzz face would sound as tubes, as you'd expect, pretty much. It's not capable of getting the huge full-on saturation because tubes will go and try and round off the distortion curves, where as transistors appear to stay saturated and conduct until they stop. They don't soften when they clip, they clip hard. Tubes try and soften it, so it makes it harder to go and get a fuzz out of it. You can get fuzz out of the stages, but to do so, you have to starve the tubes to the point that there's just simply not enough output to actually be useful after that. So you got to kind of like compromise. The Matsuman valve caster values will work for plate resistors, you know, kind of. They're not dead on, but they're close. Um, you can sit here and drive yourself crazy with it too, because every time you adjust anything, it's a tube, so it has to rebias. It takes a, a couple seconds for anything that you change to be affected. So as you're tweaking it, you can really make yourself crazy. Uh, gain control, the, the controls all have to be much bigger than what they are stock. I mean, you'd have to breadboard this and mess around with it. I'm not telling what it was that I did right at this point in time. Um, the basic schematic is literally a fuzz face with two sections of a dual triode replacing the two transistors. The uh, parts count other than me subbing trimmers for the uh, collector resistors, uh, the, parts, the part count remains the same. It's just the values change, you know. Um, but anyways, I'm babbling here and talking all this baloney. You want to hear what it sounds like, I think, by now, probably. Like, pig, shut the fuck up, right? Because, man, dude, all you do is babble on and 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 on. Well... Let me find a guitar. Let me sit my old fat ass down. Take a second to try and get you so you can see what this piece of thing looks like here. Good. I have to just hit the button to make it die. That's the beast. I did add the uh, tone control from the Matsuman valve caster to this as well. Just because it's kind of fizzy. And I think it sounds better with like a little bit of tone control. So anyways, here's the thing. You got your fuzz. You've got uh, stage two's collector or uh, plate resistance. Stage one's plate resistance tone and then volume. <laughs> Guitar is barely on. I'm playing through one of those piece of shit little Ibanez 5 watt tube things with a tube screamer built into it. So this thing's on, I don't have any bypass hooked up to it or anything because it's just on the breadboard. Guitar's turned down nice and clear. Sounds like you're playing through a fuzz face. You turn it up. Just the single little. Uh, this is all the way up.
Turn it on. What does the
turn it off. But now the cool thing is this actually sounds better if you put it into the front end of an overdrive. So I'm going to turn on the fucking Tomb Screamer thing. I absolutely hate Tomb Screamers, but there's one in this amp built in, which makes it handy to go and hear what it would sound like with one of the Tomb Screamers I hate so much. <laughs> I'm going to turn that mother off. We're going to turn that mother out. Let's see. Alright. So now I turn the tune screamer part of the air Guitar from this whole mess. I plug it into the amp. That's the tube screamer thing. this thing in. Get in there. See? So you can definitely hear it. I'll put the fuzz on again. Thank 
It's harder to do without a strap on it, you think. <laughs> Put the tube screamer back on. Jimmy. So anyway, they said it couldn't be done. They said it should be done. They're probably right. But I did it anyway because that's just the kind of stupid shit that I do here in the dungeon of tone. Once again, for Stupid Pedal Tricks, thank you again for your continuous support of my absolutely just ridiculously like ape-like with opposable thumbs experiment in sonic destruction. Because every day sunshine somewhere, might not be here, but it's somewhere. Maybe on the dark side of the moon. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, so I mean, it can't be done. If it's worth actually doing, well, it depends. I mean, for some uses it would be really cool, for some things it's not quite as cool. Uh, as far as being a fuzz face, in circuit look, it's a fuzz face. The parts count's pretty much exactly the same. The way it's hooked up is the same. Um, I got to do a couple of tricks with it still to go and I think improve on it a little bit, but I wanted to make something that would run on nine volts just to see if it could be done, just for shits and giggles. And I think for what a piece of crap it is, I think it doesn't sound that bad, especially if you put it into a distorted amp. I mean, you put it into that tube screamer. I mean, the tube that I'm using is actually a pull from an old amp, so it's actually, it gets a little microphonic when you put it up that hot. <laughs> I think that's ridiculous, man, a microphonic tube at 9 volts. Gotta love it. Anyways, Pink Timmy here. Y'all stay well and safe, wash your hands, you know, wear masks when you gotta go out in public. I know there's some people out there who don't think this influenza thing that's going around is that big a deal, but... Uh, I've had a few friends die of it now up here in uh, Connecticut, and I've had friends in the hospital with it, and 
it's not a pleasant thing, man, at all. So take care of yourselves and take care of each other and uh, until we meet again. Peace. There's the button. I found it this time. <laughs>